for this part of the tutorial, you will need to open up CD Mage once again and open your Final Fantasy Tactics Vanilla ISO. Once this is open in CD Mage, you're going to want to go back into the event folder and you're going to want to extract the attack.out file once again to somewhere such as your desktop. Once this file has been extracted, I normally would make a folder inside the main folder called attack out GUI. Once this folder has been made, I would then extract the contents of the attack out GUI download that is found on the main page of Final Fantasy Hactics. Once this is complete, I would also drag the attack.out file into the same folder. Once this is in the folder, you can go ahead and open up the attack out editor. You can see 000 and 001. These are going to be what we would be changing since they affect the first event in the game. So in these, we will change the map, both of them, to tutorial 1. Once that is finished, you can go ahead and hit save, and we are done with the attack out portion of this tutorial. Once you have completed the attack out portion, you want to open Final Fantasy Tactics Patcher, which is also found on the main page of Final Fantasy Tactics. Once you have this open, you will want to go to PSX and open Patched ISO. You then go to the ENTD tab and go to 100, beginning of the game inside Orbo. I'm going to go ahead and replace every unit except for Ramza with nothing at all. We don't need anybody else besides Ramza for this basic event. This is the easiest way to achieve this. I'm also going to change Ramza to Unit 1 as well as his sprite set name just because it's what I'm most familiar with. I'm going to flag Always Present so that we don't have to do anything to call Ramza into the event. Also, we're going to go back to Easy Vent and look at the maps. We're going to pull up Tutorial Map 1 so that we can see where we're going to want realms of the stand at. So we see Tutorial Map 1 here. I decided that he's going to stand at 1-5. So go back into FFT Patcher set it to 1-5 on the X and Y. Jobs don't really matter. Initial direction would be east. Then you click on PSX and patch ISO. Once we've finished this, it's finally time to start on the event. So go back into the easy event. Open up Herb Own Prayer as we did in the first video. This time you're going to want to select everything besides the offset at the very top and the two lines below it and delete that. Now the camera angle that I inserted here I happen to know is used in the tutorial level itself. What I'm also going to do is open up this page which contains Coco Joe's event editing tutorial since I use this for every new event I make to set up camera angles as well as it being a great setup for any new event. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the camera angles from that tutorial with the one that I picked out for the event we will be creating, and I will go deeper into detail with cameras later on in the tutorial. I'm also going to change the time to 1 and then 128 on both of the camera angles. This makes it so that the map doesn't zoom in at 100 miles an hour as soon as it starts and rather slowly fades into the where the character is standing at. I'll once again go back to Coco Joe's tutorial to get the wait, event end, and the basic dialogue instruction. And this is about everything we'll need for this basic event setup. So we're going to go ahead and copy this into notepad into the event.txt we made. Save that and once again we're going to run the compiler once you see that the test.evt has been updated you go back into cd mage as we did before load up your vanilla iso go back into the event folder once again and this time we are going to import once again the test.evt
Now once this has been imported, we're also going to import the attack.out that we edited earlier. So navigate back to that folder and import that the same as you will with the test.evt. Once this is done, you are ready to load up your ISO for the first time and see the very, very basic event that we have made at this point.